Hello Revit family, this is Chris with Valor VDC. And today I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about something that I saw on Reddit. We had a user on Reddit who was asking how to create a view filter for odd angled fittings so that when he designs his system, he can tell when Revit puts in a odd angled uh, pipe fitting. So if you initiate the pipe command by hitting PI on the keyboard, you can come down here. Uh, I recommend being in a fine view. And I can create a pipe fitting at a 20 degree, a 7 degree, a 90 degree, a 45. And the 90s and the 45s are pretty typical. It's the 70s, the, uh, let's do like a, let's just do a, an 80 fitting. Eighty-five degree. Let's just do an eighty degree, and then here. So you can see we have different types of fittings, and normally there's no easy way to do this. But if you uh, want to try a little bit of family editing, it's super simple. Um, all you gotta do is add add one parameter. So let's go ahead and open up the family. We'll go to Edit Family, and what I'll do is I'll go to the family types and I'm gonna add a shared parameter to this and I'm gonna call it lay angle. The reason why I wanna have a lay angle shared parameter because what it's gonna say is if these families don't equal this, then it'll be zero and you'll be able to get in there. So first off, I'm gonna create a parameter. I'm gonna make it a shared parameter. I'm gonna say new, I'm gonna call it lay angle. make an angle parameter and another reason for the lay angle is if you're running pipe on slope what you're going to find is that as you run it on slope you're going to have odd angles like 87.14 if you're running it on a quarter inch a little more a little less depending upon the size and then um so you're going to have those angles so you're going to need an if statement so what I'll do is I'll go over to a family I already created. This is just a sanitary 45, it's PVC one. And I'll come in here and I'll copy this in the inst interest of not having to retype the new one. I'll put it in the comments so you can copy it in. And all this is in this statement says if the angle is between 87.5 and 91.5, it's gonna report it to 90, you know, 43 to 47, 45, 22 and a half, or 20 and a half to, 24 and a half, 22 and a half. Those are the standard sanitary angles. If you want more, you just have to copy the if to the end of the comma here and insert it and then and insert it before the zero and then add another uh, parentheses behind it. So, so that's what this does. So, so what it means, so what this parameter does is if you have an angle at like 91 degrees, it's still going to stay at 90 because it's between that 91.5. But if I come in here and I change this to 80, it's going to report at zero. Because they don't make an 80 degree fitting. Well, I mean, you can special order one, but out of the box, you're not going to find one at a regular plumbing supply house or your Home Depot or Lowe's. So let's change that back to 90. So we add this parameter into the family, load it back into the project. And it loads, it's gonna ask you this, and you're gonna say, yeah, and nothing changed, right? So, so now what you gotta do is you gotta take that lay, uh, lay parameter and you have to add it into your project parameters. So you come over here to project parameters and you'll say add, and we'll say share parameter, lay angle, doesn't matter where it goes, you just, you just have to make sure you assign it to a plumbing fitting. And then okay. Now, still nothing happens, but now you can go to your visibility graphics, go to filters, you can say new. We can just duplicate this one because that's usually what I like to do. You can create a new one too. You can call it wrong angle. Oops, you spelled it right. 
and then check none. Yeah, I know. And then go to pipe fittings. And then what you can do here is I typically like to do the or for this because I'm singling one thing out. And I'll come down here to lay angle. And I say equals zero. The reason why I say equals zero is remember at the end of your formula, if I come back in here, any angle that doesn't equal 90, 45, or 22 and a half will return a value of zero. So that's what's going to be the item that's going to push your visibility filter forward. So let me go to add. I'll take wrong angle, add that in here. I'll just go in here and I'll add a solid parameter. We'll use red because that stop and it, and you can see things a little better. And then I just hit this and there you go. So we have these odd angles here. So this one's red, this one's, because this one's red. We get in here. And what this says is the angle is 20 degrees and your lay angle is reporting at zero, zero. This angle here is 70 degrees and that's pointed at zero, zero. But if you go up here, these are correct. This is a 90. This is a 45. This is a 45. And then these are odd angles too. So that's pretty much it. So um, if you're looking for an easy way to identify odd angles as you're sketching stuff, and you don't want to look like that guy in the office who's got all the wrong size fittings and such, uh, you can go ahead and uh, apply this parameter. It's really quick. Like, like I said, I, I did it in just a few minutes. Um, go ahead and uh, just make this happen. And until next time, have a great day and keep on learning Revit.